Today we're going to be having a look at a pretty cool product from BenQ. Now we recently looked at a 24 inch monitor from BenQ that had a VA panel and an LED backlight, but this one's a little bit different. It has some additional features. So this is the BL2400PU. It is also a 24 inch VA panel with LED backlighting. However, it also has some other cool features. So let's get this guy opened up and have a quick boo inside, shall we? Well, the first thing we are going to find is, hey, look at this, BenQ switching to a more uh, eco-friendly packaging. They're using, uh, they're using a die-cut cardboard insert in order to give you the, uh, the best biodegradability possible. And you can actually see they're using, like, they're, using uh, double, they're doubling up on the cardboard in a lot of the areas to make sure that you've got really good rigidity to this overall. I mean, that's, that's outstanding, actually. Mm. There's a lot to be learned from packaging like this, actually. I mean, I know I, I talk about the box a lot these days, but you unbox enough products and it starts to just sort of come natural. So here's the base here. We've got our rubber feet on the bottom so that the monitor's not going to slip around. We've got a pretty standard little uh, screw-in for attaching the monitor, and then it just sits kind of like that. Okay, so that's the first piece we find inside the box. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove... Oh, actually, no. First, we're going to find a disc. Okay, I've never been able to understand why a monitor comes with a disc, so we'll just get rid of that. And let's take this out. So, oops, not quite. Oh, accessories. Okay, here I am. I keep wanting to take out the packaging, but I can't do it yet. We have a USB A to B cable, so that's going to be for the built-in USB hub. We have a power cord. We have an audio cord. It does have built-in speakers. And then we also have an included VGA cable. Okay, so we'll go ahead and throw those back in there, and then now we can take this out. Look at that, it all comes out in like one elaborate piece. You know, somebody probably has to fold this by hand. I'm telling you, that's, that's probably how it works. So then we find the monitor itself, and this is where things start to get a little bit more exciting, because I've already given away the big secret, which is the VA panel and the LED backlight. But what I haven't told you is that this monitor also has some pretty unique connectivity options. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the base just for the sake of showing you how simple it is. So hopefully I can make it look pretty simple here. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be in for a bit of a rough show. All right, here we go. So we're just going to go ahead, take the base, position it in there, just like that. And then we're going to tip it up. All right, so that's pretty straightforward, and then we're just gonna screw it in, and hopefully this works. You can use a screwdriver, but you can probably get it tight enough by hand anyway, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And there we go. That was the whole assembly process for this monitor. So, I wanna show you a few things right off the bat. First of all, there is a built-in USB hub. So if you go and look on the right-hand side of the monitor here, you've got four USB ports. So that was what that A to B cable was for. You just plug from here into the back of your computer, and that's going to be your hub right there. That looks like it's going to be a passive hub, not or passive, a non-powered hub. So you're only going to be using things like keyboards and mice. I wouldn't expect to be powering a bunch of two and a half inch, you know, hard drives or anything off of it. Okay, next we've got the options for all of this stuff. So we're going to press in here and, oh, Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, okay, hold on. We gotta tear this off first. And then we can lift. Yes, there we go. So that's for uh, security and shipping. Okay, let me just go ahead and... Ah, yes, okay. Well, I put the base on before taking that off, so that won't work quite as well. Uh, but you can see that it actually adjusts up quite high. Cameraman, if you want to step back and have like a quick... Uh, look at the monitor itself. So it adjusts all the way from way down low like this, all the way up like that. So uh, you can pretty much adjust it to whatever is ergonomically comfortable for you. This monitor also has a side-to-side uh, -side option. Okay, you can tilt it up and down, just like that. Actually here, you wanna grab it from the side so that I can show you just how much you are able to tilt it. So depending where you're sitting, you can sit and look up at your monitor like this, or you can sit up here and look down at it. You have all the options in the world available to you. And if you view a lot of photos or anything like that, you can also go, ah, there we go, 90 degrees to the side and have it in portrait mode. So while we got it in portrait mode, why don't we have a quick look 
at the connectivity that I was talking about. So here we've got our power button right there. And then our speaker bar is running all along the, oh no it isn't, uh, my bad. The speakers are actually here on the bottom. But here we go, right here. There's our power. Oh, here's all the buttons. Cameraman's trying to show you that. I guess that's uh, justified. So here is enter. Here's the brightness adjustment. This looks like uh, something else, menu and auto. So I'm sure once you have the on-screen display up, you'll be able to figure out what all of those do fairly easily. Here's our power in. And then finally, we have uh, audio in, headphone and display port. How's that for cool? We have finally, a good value display port monitor that offers a VA panel, an LED backlight, a pretty slick looking design, and a price point that isn't ridiculous. So that is pretty darn cool and I'd say that's sort of feature number one. I mean the iFinity guys are going to go nuts over a monitor like this because you don't have to use any expensive adapters. You can just grab three of these monitors and boom, you got iFinity with uh, three times HD resolution. We've also got your standard DVI and VGA inputs. We've got a Kensington lock on the back and you can see we've got a standard four point screw mounting system so you can actually arm mount this monitor or hey, if you want to run it in iFinity, you can even get one of those triple monitor mounts. So thank you for checking out the unboxing and first look at this BenQ BL2400 series LED monitor and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.